Yeah, very nervous. Hope so. Fingers crossed. In just a few minutes now, we will have a new champion at India's premier science challenge. I'm Sanskriti Kher and this is the Fevicol Science Project Challenge 2013. The 24 bright minds you just saw represent 8 schools from across the country and they've just made it here to the Sofitel Hotel in Mumbai after a grueling selection process. A process that involved over 7,15,000 students participate from 1,968 schools across the country. A process that will culminate today with the crowning of a new champion team who will enjoy the spoils of victory in an all expenses paid trip to Singapore, courtesy Fevicol. In 2011, we had the challenge of trying to match the immense creativity of children with the iconic brand Fevicol. Fevicol Science Project Challenge was born as a way to tap into the imagination and creativity of children and give them a platform where they could solve tomorrow's problem of society today. At the Fevicol Science Challenge 2013, we have 24 of these achievers. Those 24 ideas were so path-breaking that they were the natural selection for the finals. Let's see what it took them to make it all the way here to the Grand Finals in Mumbai. Students from all over the country have an opportunity to participate in the Fevicol Science Project Challenge. The selection process starts in schools with the students submitting a 500 word concept on any of the topics provided. Three concepts from each class are selected. The selected students then have to make their own 3D model based on their concept which are then displayed at the science project exhibition organized by the school. This is a chance for the proud parents to attend as the principal and science teachers select the best project in junior group and senior group each. The eventual finalists are chosen by esteemed judges from the Nehru Science Center. The eight finalist teams are in the senior group. Arjunta English School, Nagarjuna Model School, Indian National Public School, Bosco Public School, and in the junior group. Brilliant Comrades School, Hawaiians, Saint Anthony Senior Secondary School, and Galilee International School. We met some of them as they arrived for what would be the start of a packed three-day schedule. A schedule designed to test them from the moment they arrived. In the evening, they went through a fun ice-breaking activity which involved a lot of competition, teamwork and many surprises. The ice-breaking session was immediately followed by a briefing on the topic for the finals. So the topic for the junior group is smart housing. The senior group topic is society with future sources of energy. I repeat, society with future sources of energy. So creativity is about spontaneity and the task is to tap into the spontaneity of children. So as they walk in, a challenge is thrown and over the course of the next two days, they convert their ideas, their dreams into a masterpiece. Experience 
obviously nice and it was you know tiring but we kind of had fun not only electronics and stationery but we saw loads of many things the attractions of Mumbai so it was great. Yeah, the experience was very good, very nice and the experience was so different and we saw the Mumbai traffic. That was awesome for me. Little fun for us to buy that things. It was this thing, we will buy this or this or this. Actually it's a secret and you will get to know what all we buy after completion of the project. We shop for electronic devices like solar panels, resistors, transistors, microchips. So, do you think you're going to win? Yes! Yes! yes. Just we will do bang! Do you think you're going to win? Yes! <laughs> While they may have had a fun day shopping, their real test was about to begin. The time when their skills and creativity would be put to use. They spent the next day and a half in frantic activity to create not just the most interesting and compelling design but also one that would impress the judges the most. After all, they were being judged on a number of different criteria. Previous editions have shown us some great work, children having done something fantastic. When their models go up to the judges, they are actually being pitted against an experienced eye that understands scientific models and creativity. What the judges would look for is actually the quality of creativity and the expression of originality of thought. And finally, it has to be tested on the canvas of possibilities. Yes, it's very nice going, but just like it's a tension like thing. We have not got the material then. And it's very cooperative people around us. Whatever we need, they are just getting it for us. There are a few things which we should have brought Luck. yesterday. I mean, didn't plan well, maybe. Kuchh nahi bana hai hum log. In a few hours, it was pens down or times up at this test of skill and creativity. Just in time for our judges to walk in and commence the judging process. So there you have it. Without much further ado, Let's go and see who is going to be crowned the champion of the Fair We Call Science Project Challenge 2013.
Terrific. Hard work comes at the end. I had an intuition that I am gonna win. I mean, we all are gonna win. We only expected may the best win. We're very happy and all the group of Feedlight is responsible for this. They have helped us. They have given us the things. And just no words to speak. 